Hey guys, I'm John with Performance MRP, and today I'm going to give you the skinny on our custom air straightener screens. We'll go over what they are, what they'll do for your custom performance build, and if you stick around long enough, I'll show you how to install your very own with some basic tools that you probably already got in your shop. Thanks for tuning in. Let's get started. Now check this out. The first thing that you'll notice when you purchase one of these pre-cut screens, or even a full sheet if you're doing multiple applications, is that we offer them in either 5mm or 6mm. Now the size you go on will depend on your application and personal preference, but if you reach out to us, we can get you squared away, or honeycombed away. Ah. Next, you might not notice just by looking at them, but they're constructed of American-made 5052 aluminum, which makes them perfect for the high temp applications that we'll find in an engine bay. The screens have shown to aid in consistent directional airflow directly into your MAF sensor. This will help you big tuning guys really dial in details and metrics for fuel trim, idle, throttle response, and any fuel spikes you may be getting. A few of our Volkswagen friends have even used them to successfully overcome some trouble lights. Personally, I block those lights off with electrical tape so I can't see them anymore. But tomato, tomato, you know. Now, if you're new to math and air intake components, don't sweat. We offer all of our housings with the option for us to pre-install one of these guys for you if you're a little weary of taking on the install by yourself. We offer pre-sized hand-cut screens for anything from you smart car guys all the way up to those big rigs to deliver us our raw materials. These screens are extremely adaptable. Additionally, we offer uncut sheets of this honeycomb in both sizes for anyone who may have a unique shaped intake or want to maintain some factory air system but still hide some of those aftermarket goodies inside. Yeah, we can do that. All right, and now for the fun part, the install. If you've purchased a pre-cut screen from us, you'll notice that it's slightly oversized to the inner diameter of the pipe or mouth housing that you're using. This is to allow as much surface contact between the screen and the pipe as possible. Some of you may need to trim away by hand or you may not need to trim at all. Every system is different and built to different tolerances, so each application may be a little different. For this one here, since it's a little bit oversized and it's one of our housings, we're just gonna use a handy pair of clippers. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna look for some open cells that you know we can maybe trim up just to get a little bit better of a fit. So snip that, and we're gonna try to keep all the closed cells as closed as possible so we don't wanna snip away something like this because this is gonna come in handy later. But any little flags like these guys, you might be able to trim them away just so you can get a nice tight fit in there. Now, once you're happy with the fit, we need to figure out the best way to secure the screen in place. Now, this is all personal preference and it all depends on your build. Some people like the friction fit, other people use an epoxy or sealant, but we choose to rivet our screens in place so that we know they're always gonna stay in their proper orientation. If you choose to rivet, you can use a handheld drill, Dremel, or drill press to make your holes. And for the closed cell, it's like I mentioned, for rock solid fit. Take a look at our rivets. See them? This guy's not going anywhere. Let's see a fast race car try to mess this one up. All right, so our screen is in. We're ready to install back on the car. Let's pretend my table here is actually my brand new Lamborghini Murcielago. You don't know I don't have one. I don't, but well, let's pretend. So now we're back in the car. We've got this guy all hooked up to our airbox. Everything's ready to go. We've got a big old cone filter on the end, maybe a velocity stack. Yeah, we've got those two. And we've got our custom machined flange that's specific to your car make and model. So what we're gonna do is now that we're back in the system, we've got our math sensor that's kind of just hanging out somewhere and we're gonna drop it back into place. Ah, oh, that doesn't fit. Well, that's okay, because you'll notice that it's only got one direction it can fit, which is gonna make sure that you have the proper orientation all the time. So our air is going to flow through our screen and hit that sensor perfectly straight. Awesome. Last step, we're going to take some of the included hardware that we have with a lock nut. We're just going to get this guy going. Now once we've got our hardware installed with a wrench that may or may not be missing from your tool chest, We're just going to plug it back into our car, get our system going, and we're good to go with a beautiful custom machined math airflow housing from Performance MRP. 
It's awesome, it's cheap, you can do it yourself, and it's a cool little go fast part that you can tackle in less than half an hour with some basic tools. If you guys have any questions, our expert staff is available via email, phone, social media, and we'll get you squared away with exactly the right part every time. Thanks for tuning in. Stay safe and keep on wrenching.